Hi everyone, it's Vanessa from Love to Coupon to Save. So I'm coming to you today with my Sunday couponing haul. So today I went to CVS, Walgreens, and Rite Aid. So I wanted to film a video. I usually do Target all the time. This week Target is a, is a little slow as of now for me. So I wanted to focus on some of these drugstore deals. Now if you're just starting out couponing and you're thinking, oh well... I don't know, should I buy into the hype or is it gonna be worth it? This is the perfect week to start. The, um, a lot of freebies at the stores, um, a lot of um, free after rewards kind of stuff, which I will explain about in a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I didn't do a written breakdown, but I will break down every store as well as show you my receipts. So uh, this week I spent a little bit more out of pocket than I really wanted to. And I'm okay with it just because I wanted to show you how you could go ahead and get started with no rewards. Like, for instance, Rite Aid. Um, and I'll explain that when I get there. A lot of the things are free after rewards, but I went in with no rewards. So it's a perfect time if you want to rebuild your ups um, from Rite Aid or, you know, build up registry rewards from Walgreens and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started, okay? So the first thing is CVS. So um, I bought, purchased eight of these herbal essences. In today's P&G, the 728 P&G, we got a buy one, get one free coupon. Now that coupon does take off the max value, which is $4.99 when it's scanned. Um, these are two for five, making the duo a penny for both. Now, a lot of the stores won't um, scan the coupons. They'll just see them and enter in the value. At that point, if you see them doing that, it's really up to you if you want to purchase the items or not. At the one store I actually went to, he was, well, the manager was just such a jerk, to be honest. He was just so rude. Um, but anyway, um, uh, he refused to scan any of my coupons and it gave me a really, really hard time. So I left all my items there at the register and actually um, proceeded to go ahead and go to another CVS. And a manager rung me up and it was no issue. So don't feel forced to pay more out of pocket than you're comfortable with just to get a deal because... I mean, shampoo and conditioner is something you shouldn't pay for unless you really love the brand. I mean, I wasn't going to pay $2.50 for one bottle. Now, with this BOGO coupon, you can, um, you know, some people will stack them with a manufacturer's coupon. At CVS, that beeps for me. Um, I don't know if it's just the way I hand over coupons. So for me, I just was happy getting them free. Um, I didn't want to worry about overage or anything like that. So these were all free. And actually, they're ringing up with extra care bucks. So for every two that I I purchased I got a dollar so I made four dollars basically so that was a good deal now this Venus razor here this v Venus razors buy one get a two dollar extra buck these are this is was $7.29 in my store and I had a question if this is trial or travel size no it is not it is in the regular section it is not trial nor is it travel size I don't see that anywhere explained here at all so yes they try to make up their own rules, but at the same time, you know, if we go in and we're friendly and we're knowledgeable, um, it shouldn't be an issue couponing. But we still run into our struggles, and that's what makes us better couponers, I think, is all of the battle scars that we have couponing makes us smarter, wiser, and allows us to come up with scenarios and... Um, yeah, just become better overall couponers. Anyway, off my tangent. This was $7.79 or $7.29 in my store. Buy one, get a $2 extra buck. I We had that $5 coupon. I don't know where it was from, but it was from an older insert. It actually expires this Wednesday. So I paid $2.29 for this and got back a $2 extra buck. So I thought that was pretty good, $0.29 cents for this. Okay. The Oral-B... 3D Action Toothbrushes. These battery-operated toothbrushes are $5.99, giving you back a $2 extra buck, but we have $3 manufacturer's coupons that just came out in the 728 PNG. So you're going to pay $2.99 and get two back, so $0.99 cents for these. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. So that was that. Um, and I love these toothbrushes, so I don't mind paying a dollar for a $6 toothbrush. Any day I'll take that. Th this was a complete moneymaker um, for me, and I Want to give a shout out to coupon clipping gal i'll put her link in the um, description box but she put um 
a video up saying how this is going to be a money maker at CVS. So I checked my mail early in the week and I had a try me free. That's where the coupon was, but a try me free mailer. Um, so yeah, so I paid, this was $11.49 at my store. I paid nothing and I got back a $4 extra buck. So that was a complete money maker. So let me show you my receipts from CVS. So, hold on a second. There we go. So, here are my shampoos and conditioners, the herbal essences. You see the Oral B and the Venus Razor. So, and I messed up on this transaction. I paid three more dollars extra than I wanted to. I could have rolled a reward for this, but I'm okay with it. Um, so, yeah, this is an extra buck. That's my razor coupon. Those are the toothbrush coupons, and these are the BOGO herbal essences coupon so I paid $3.31 subtotal and got back um, $10 in extra care bucks so I thought that was good and with my second transaction I just bought the freebie because I didn't want it to mess up my other transaction because the coupon actually beeps and says that it is expired which it's not so and she explained to me that it was a code so anyway I did a separate transaction needed milk and I paid with my $4 extra bucks but then I got four back so here's a shot of my yearly savings and spending for the summer and I'm really close to getting another beauty buck so that was good okay so on to Walgreens um, Walgreens was a really really great um, thing especially if you're just starting out so these double packs reach oops reach toothbrushes they're the duo pack these are on sale for $2.99 giving back a $2 call it register rewards so register rewards are like extra bucks are like up rewards okay so yes yeah, essentially 99 cents but what's awesome is that there's a two dollar internet printable coupon on coupons.com for two dollars off any reach double pack so basically you're going to pay 99 cents plus tax out of pocket and get back a two dollar register reward so this was great and i did this four times in four separate transactions because um, register rewards won't print out multiple rewards of the same item in the same transaction. That's just how Walgreens works. It's not like CVS. So make sure you split up your transactions. Also, the reach coupons say limit one per customer. So make sure that you're shopping with other people or, you know, just make sure. I was shopping with other people, so it was fine. But just, you know, limit yourself to know that, you know, it does say limit one per customer. So a lot of the reach and Listerine coupons say that. So, and this was a 10 cent folder and I needed it to roll my register rewards with for a filler item. So filler items, you can't have more items than you do rewards. So it's very complicated at Walgreens. I'm not a Walgreens expert, but I would definitely go to Wild for Wags. Um, it is a blog, I'll put the link down below. It's a very, very helpful blog. So I'm still new at Walgreens. I mean, I hardly ever shop there unless it's a really good freebie. So, and I thought this was a good deal. Okay, on to Rite Aid. So this is what I purchased at Rite Aid. Um, we do, I do have two cards for Rite Aid, just like I have two cards for CVS. Um, so I did, the, these deals are limit one or two per card, which I will explain in a second. So the first deal is on these Reach toothbrushes. So obviously there's a good deal on Reach at multiple stores this week. These are the Total Care Multi Action reach toothbrushes they're normally $4.99 on sale this week for $1.99 giving you a $1 plus up but what's great about this is we actually have a $1 internet printable coupon um, on coupons.com so you're going to pay 99 cents and get 99 cents back making them free okay the school supplies the notebooks and the scissors included these are three for 99 cents which I thought was great and they're actually you know really nice notebooks so and they're mead so I thought that was a good deal, and these are really good scissors. A couponer can't have more, a lot of, you know, enough scissors, and these are perfect for my little hands. So, <laughs> um, yeah, three for 99 cents. Um, so you're gonna buy three for 99 cents, and then it gives you a 90, 90, 99 cent plus up, so it makes them free. Again, this was done on one card and this on another card because this is limit one per card, okay? Now the toothpaste is the same thing, limit two per card. So two on each card. These are $2.99, giving you a $2.99 plus up back, making them completely free. So that's good in itself, but what 
what's awesome is we have a one dollar coupon in the old png as well as in the new png off a one dollar off of two crests so it's basically a money maker they're a small money maker so let me go ahead and show you my receipt from rite aid so and i paid a lot out of pocket guys and this is like really rare for me but I figured it would be great just to show you guys, especially all the new people. I get messages and comments all the time about people that really want to start couponing. And you have to start somewhere. So if you can start small and basically get, do weeks like this where you're getting everything free basically after rewards, it would be really great for you to start up your rewards. That way when you go in next week, you're not paying barely anything out of pocket. So I hope that that makes sense. Um, so here is my receipt. You see the reach toothbrush is there the crest and those scissors my subtotal was $7.95 I paid $8.61 with tax and I went in with no plus up so this was my out of pocket which if you guys watch me that's pretty high for me for drugstore so but I was happy to do it and these are all my plus ups so first I got some coupons at the bottom of my receipt then this is the $1 plus up from the Reach, another $1 plus up, $2.99 for the Crest, $2.99 for the Crest, and $0.99. Cents. So as you can see, although I paid $8.61, I ended up getting back all of it. So I got back one, two, basically seven, well, three, three is six, so that's eight. So yeah, so I got back everything back. Wait, what's that math? So that's three, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I got about $9 back, so yeah. So I got all my money and rewards back, but that's something that you're gonna have to do eventually, okay? So this video is running a little longer. I hope my explanations help. As always, questions, comments, or concerns, you can always leave them down below. I'll be happy to enable comments. And I hope you guys find my video helpful. Again, this is really different from anything I do. It's all drugstore. And drugstores can be the most confusing. So um, I hope that you guys get in on some of these great deals this week, especially if you're new. Please just try it. Even if you just go in and just get one toothbrush and used one $1 internet printable, pay 99 cents to get a dollar back, trust me, you're going to really see and the benefits and reap the rewards. So um, keep that in mind, okay, that I know it can be overwhelming, but if you just try it, even if this transaction is daunting for you, just try one thing and then you'll get the hang of it. It's like riding a bike, okay? So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.